Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanermani456 here today to my Let's Play on Sonic Lost World, the Super Sonic playthrough. So, last time we did Desert Ruins right here, and now we're going to continue on and go to Tropical Coast. But today, I have a very special guest with me, so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? What is going on everybody? This is Ultimate 24 and I'm very glad to be here. Thank you, Kobe, for bringing me. No problem, dude. Glad to have you. So, uh, as you all know, um, if you well, if you all don't know, uh, this is Ultranic Twenty Four. He's a really good friend of mine. Uh, we've done a lot of videos in the past before, but this may be—I I, I can't recall exactly if we have. It's been a long time, um, but this uh, is our first video doing like dual commentary together, like alone, just for a game like this. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You excited about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna get a glimpse of Super Sonic right there. We're gonna go on to Tropical Coast Zone One, but uh, right now we're gonna see uh, Super Saiyan Parkour Jesus in just a second, maybe <laughs> run on the wall, run on the water walls or something. But uh, so what? Can you actually run on walls? Uh, uh, on, on the water? Thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see it right now? I can actually show you real quick. Uh, it may be a little bit behind, but you can run on the wall. Like, isn't that crazy? Oh, well, you know. Yeah, it's pretty insane. And uh, if you know how to pull off the trick, you can do, like, infinite parkour. It's kind of hard to pull off, though. But, uh, yeah, this stage is pretty fun, though. Definitely one of my favorite stages in the game. But, yeah, uh, same game. What, uh, what have you thought about this game so far, since I know you've been uh, LPing the game on your channel as well? Uh, I beat the game the other day on my own file, and... Uh, uh, it's a it's it's a good game. I, I will admit, it's probably it's not as good as Colors or Generations or, or those games, but I, I'll put it somewhere in that category. Okay, yeah. Uh, have you actually unlocked Super Sonic yet, though? Uh, not yet. I'm actually gonna try to do that later. Not yet. All right. Well, uh, now we're actually going to bring out the Golden Blur right here, and uh, uh -oh. he's a bit different from a 3DS version. Have you unlocked him in the 3DS version? Oh, nah, I don't even want to talk about 3D version. <laughs> oh, I beat that one too. Didn't it like just, it, huh? It just, well, it, it, okay, for the 3DS version, I, I don't mind it. It's just there's many things wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Like, I've seen gameplay footage of it, and I mean, you know, and I've played a bit of it. And, you know, the first stage, Windy Hill Zone, is fun. But then after that, it just gets worse and worse and worse to where you just don't want to play it anymore. It's like, oh yeah, I haven't really even played a stage in the 3DS version after Windy Hills and I even want to replay. It's kind of annoying, actually. While wow, this game, well, the, you know, there's some parts in these stages that uh, you know have some pretty bad level design. Uh, you know. I mean, there are areas that are quite memorable and, you know, you want to replay through. But. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm actually starting to, like, replay through some of the 3DS levels. Because it's like, hey, I got used to the control. I, let me see if I can actually do better on these. Yeah. Um, but which one would you prefer? Which one would you say you like more? The 3DS Wii version or Wii U? <laughs> Wii U. Straight up. up. Oh, my. I, I 3DS version. It's... I, I don't even know what to say anymore. About the 3DS version? Yeah, I'll just say it, it's very slippery. That's all I can say. Yep, that's what I was telling everyone. Everyone's just like, no, I don't know if it's slippery or whatnot. It may just be you or whatever. And then people were like, you know, you're on ice level. But no, it's just that the controls are slippery with uh, like, you know, Sonic in that game. And then with the circle pad, it doesn't help at all. Oh, no, it does not. Multiplayer is fun, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, so you've uh, got to try that out. Um, what do you think about that so far? Because I've not touched that just yet. Um, yeah, it's, multiplayer is actually pretty fun. I've been enjoying it. Okay. Um, it's standard racing. Some of the levels are like they some some of the levels are combined in like the uh, well the rate. They, if you can take Desert Ruins and combine at least Act One, like if you combine some of the elements of Act One, that's pretty much what it is. Okay. Of uh, desert drones? Yeah, like it, it's stuff like that that they did. I think Windy Hill is like the same okay. as the uh, Act One, but other than that, I think they took some parts of levels and just put them in the racing. Okay, well that's cool. All right, I'm gonna actually have to try that out sometime. We'll have to do some videos because uh, you know I'm doing the 3DS version on my channel. I don't plan on doing the Super Sonic <laughs> playthrough for that one. Oh. But uh, 
I may do uh, some online races with that. That should be fun because uh, I was always a really big fan of uh, the online multiplayer and like Sonic Rush Adventure and Sonic Rush. Like it was a lot of fun. So yeah, if uh, they continued that with this game, I'd definitely play it. Now, would you say Sonic? Uh, whoa, whoa! I ran directly into that fan right there. That was <laughs> terrible. Um, would you uh, say though, personally, that uh, you know? Um, would, do you like uh, Sonic Generations 3DS more, or do you like uh, Sonic Lost World on 3DS more? Sonic Generations. <laughs> the funny thing is, I have to say the same thing. Like, I like uh, I, I like the gameplay of uh, you know. Well, I, I like how you know so the whole parkour ability and stuff like that for uh, Sonic Lost World, and you know the just 3D gameplay, but. Yeah. You know, I don't know, there's just something about, like, it's like, even though Sonic Generations 3DS wasn't that great, I have to say, I think I've enjoyed it more than uh, Sonic Lost World on 3DS. I mean, Windy Hill was a ton of fun, but everything oh, else yeah, about it, it so far from what I've played is not fun. You've told me that stages later on get a lot worse. <laughs> uh, Sky Silent Forest and Sky Road will make you murder yourself. Oh, dang. Oh my them. god. That bad. Countless lives lost. Oof, man. I I'm really concerned, actually, because, you know, with that Let's Play I've been doing, you know, I've somewhat played... Actually, no, I haven't really played it blind. Not the 3DS version, because I'd already played through some of it, and I was like, you know, I have a feeling I'm going to get screwed over by these controls, so let me just go ahead and play ahead of time, and, uh see how well I do and that did not go out well what the heck freaking lost the watermelon in fact I'm gonna actually turn super lost to watermelon okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at that it's rolling around at the speed of sound this gave me Super Mario Sunshine look, look at this oh. I, I know right didn't it like seriously it like the moment I saw it I was like oh my god and then uh in later stages, you're supposed to push the pineapple or something. And I was just thinking, this is so Super Mario Sunshine like. It's insane. And I did not like the watermelon contest in Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> they made the watermelon roll around here at the speed of Sonic, though. It's kind of impressive. It's like. Uh, never mind. That's too stereotypical. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what? Well, what happened? Oh, yep, that happened to me. Before. What the heck that, just that happened, happened there? That happened to me before. Not even gonna lie. I've never. Uh, oh yeah, actually, that did happen to me before. I remember that. That's kind of messed up, man. Like, what the heck? I was like, I, I didn't even press anything, and I just flew off the stage. Yeah, it's some exactly kind of glitch happened. right there. All right, there we go. That's one down. All right, I'm gonna get some of these coins real quick so that we can have supersonic for sure. Uh, just these right there, and there we go. Get those two. All right, let's just go ahead and turn supersonic now, just for the heck of it. <laughs> just to get it over with. Okay, come on, watermelon. Follow so, me. Is, okay, so whatever you're boosting, is it the spin dash button or is it the run button? Yes, it is. It is the spin dash button. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it basically controls kind of like the boost a bit, so it's nothing like too crazy or anything like that at all. Yeah. Um. I never really had any problems at all control-wise with it, though some of his controls as Supersonic can be pretty erratic to where, uh, you know, sometimes if you're just like suddenly press a boost button, he's just flying all over the place and you're just like, whoa, what the heck is going on? Like right there, I almost just ran off the stage yeah. <laughs> just by pressing just barely. Oh right. yeah, those fans are bottomless pits, by the way. Those what? Those those giant fans, those are bottomless pits. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I've fallen into a few of them before, and I was like, wait, what? And I was like, oh, well, dang. Yeah, because I did it in my playthrough, and I was just like, oops. Well, apparently those were bottomless pits. Uh-huh. And I was going to hop back out of it. What the heck? This thing... Uh, oh, God, I'm about to run out of rings. <laughs> I just realized that right now. I better hurry here before I die or something. Oh, God. Okay, come on, follow me. Now we got an apple right here. Uh, what would you say is your favorite uh, stage in this game uh, so far? Would it be Tropical Resort, or is there a certain act that uh, you, know, you liked more, or what? What? Um, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I just got gayed up by that freaking fella from behind. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, that just happened. I, I didn't even know what hit me right there. I'm like, wait, what? And then I just realized after I saw a few pellets in the background, like, wow. Oh, the chances of that ever happening again. <laughs> That's that messed just up. Happened. That's so messed up. But I'll probably... Favorite stage in this game. That's probably a tie between three of them. That's probably dead. Well, actually, four of them. Because I... Because I think it's the first act of either Windy Hill, Desert Ruins, Tropical Resort, and Silent Forest. Okay. Yeah, I actually like all those. Uh, oh, well, I meant like, did you have like an axe or something? Oh, a favorite act? Yeah. Uh, probably the one I like the most is, uh, I'd probably say Tropical, uh, Tropical uh, Coast Act 1. Tropical Coast Act 1? Okay, that's a really good one. Um, I think mine would probably have to be, uh, what is it, Trouble Coast Act 3? Oh my god, I almost slipped off right there. Uh, what is Act 3? Oh, the, the grinding one. Yes, I just yeah. love the music. Oh, the That's... music got me whenever I first played it. I know, I was like, whenever I saw the trailers when this game came out, I was like, okay, this looks like it's going to be a pretty freaking amazing stage. And then next thing you know, I hear the music and I was like, oh, yep, this, this is probably going to be my yep. favorite stage in this game, honestly. And sure enough, it did turn out to be. Um, I don't really like Lava Mountain Zone Act 2. Oh, Lava Mountain turned that one. Oh, my, I hate that one. It's like you love the music, but you kind of hate the stage and how cheap yes. it can be. It's like every water uh, level in a game. Hey, 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 don't you diss my Hydra City Zone. Okay, that that's not hard, though. <laughs> Still, <good. laughs> but don't, yeah. I, I, I just wish that they would let you, you know, use Supersonic in like 3D. I mean, that, I'm, I'm sorry, not Supersonic. I wish you, they would let you go underwater in 3D with Sonic. The 3DS version did that, and they did it kind of bad. Yeah, they did it, but it sucked. Like, yeah, there weren't any yeah, fun they, they stages very... really in that version. Yeah. Right. Let's try and see what the heck I just faced through this man's wa uh, this man's like candy apple or something. I will say right battling on the 3DS is fun, like the actual battle mode. Yeah. Great. It's pretty much you just gotta uh, see who can collect the most rings, and you can like hit each other to like deplete rings, uh, charge up your homing attack to uh, make the person lose more rings. It is it, pretty fun. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, too bad they didn't add any any kind of uh, online into this version. It kind of seemed uh, pretty backwards. Yeah. Uh, to have like you know the 3DS version have it, but then an HD next generation console doesn't even have online and the multiplayer in this game is so much fun dude because i got to play with the uh, soul silver 79 sadly i don't have the audio for it uh when we did play it but um we played it and it was just like so much fun to play through and it's such a bummer that they don't have it you know online because it would be so much fun uh, i would play it well it's not only that you can play with the uh you can play with the pro controller i actually prefer Which makes that. no sense well how you can you can't play with the uh, pro controller on a single player. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, I, I want to play with the... I'd honestly rather play with the controller pro on the single player than with the gamepad. Because, I mean, I hate the I hate the controls for, like, wisps on the gamepad. It's just terrible. Yeah, this, this is bad. Mm -hmm. I don't think wisps were even necessary in this game. Nope, not at all. It, it's obvious throughout the whole game. But, uh... So, what would you uh, what would you say is your favorite thing that uh, you like about Sonic Lost World? Because they've added a lot of new gameplay elements to this game that are uh, pretty new for the Sonic series. It's like you know, sometimes people complain about the controls about this game, but I just think you know, this is a new format like for the game, like uh, yeah, you know, like Sonic Unleashed. First, uh... Yeah, like Sonic Unleashed. It wasn't perfect then, but then you know. They fixed it over time, and uh, you know, then we got games like Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors. But what what do you think uh, about this game? Like, what's your favorite thing that they added to it? And what you would love to see uh, in future games? I would probably like I'll probably uh, say if they can just they if they can keep it like this, except change the change up the level design a little bit, like how they did with uh, how they did with like Colors and Generations, and like try like. If they could try it again and see if they could do a little bit better, that would be fine. Because I actually do like how this plays, like how everything works. Yeah, I have to agree. Like, I, I just feel that, you know, 
their ideas were good, but sometimes the level design and some of the things they did, you know, need a bit more polish, if you yeah. know what I mean. Like, if, if they just polish it like they did with the Sonic Unleashed gameplay, to like, you know, to what they did with, like, you know, Generations and all that stuff, I think they've got themselves, like, a real winner right here. And probably give, I don't know, like, make Sonic a little bit faster, I don't know. But then again, you can spin, like, spin dash all over the place, and that's, you know, pretty fast, so. Now, what tripped me up on this level is that I thought you could speed up on the rails, but I realized that the red ones slow, down, slow you down and the green ones speed you up. Yeah, and then the silver ones are regular uh, speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, like, cause on the 3DS version, you can just hold the R button and you actually speed up that way. Really? Yeah. That's the thing, they they added a lot of different stuff to each version, which, you know, I wish that some of the things in the 3DS version, I wish they had added to the Wii U version, because, uh, I don't know, the, like, Dems actually had some pretty decent ideas with uh, certain things, like, you know, I like uh, Sonic's... Uh, like stun move in the 3DS version more because oh, yeah. it means you don't really have to actually make contact with an enemy, making it a bit safer for you. And uh, it's a lot easier to chain chain attacks because, like, if you notice uh, with the Wii U version, if you do a homing attack, you can't like you know do a double jump right after the homing attack. You're stuck in that ball. Yeah, so I have noticed that. And it, that can be really annoying on some platforming sections, but it's like for the. Uh, 3DS version, you know, you can just like keep on uh, homing attacking after a homing attack or like do a double jump. So, I don't know. I, uh, some of the things that they did for the 3DS, you know, they actually were pretty smart with. Just wonder, are you actually going to turn Super Sonic at any point? Wait a. <laughs> 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 could I even go Super Sonic on the rails? Uh, yeah, I think you could. Could you? What the heck? I, I was there waiting, you go, like, Super Sonic. <laughs> let's do a couple. Go. Let's do a couple laps here. <laughs> there, you <go>. there we go. <laughs> Ninety-nine like, balls of beer on the wall. <laughs> Ninety-nine balls of beer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I for a second I didn't think you could, and then I was like, oh wait a second, can you? After you mentioned it, see, wow, I should have thought about it. <laughs> I got wow. I got so into talking and trying to bring commentary I forgot to do Super Sonic. Oh my god, maybe I'll show a glimpse at the end or something of just yeah. Super Sonic on rails. Let people see that. But uh, now we're gonna go to Act 4 and this time we'll turn Super Sonic. <laughs> I, wow, you were a bit late there, Dominic. Yeah, Tell I me. was like, wait a minute, isn't he close to the end of the level? Have <laughs> you turned Super Sonic yet? Man, you could have reminded me. <laughs> I totally forgot until I actually saw what part you were on. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, well. It's all good, though. No worries. Yeah, you did it anyway, so yeah, there you go. Super Sonic for Act 3. Yeah. I was about to say, what the heck am I supposed to be doing here? We're just supposed to be killing all the Mola bugs. That's right. And then, you know, all that. I like how they did bring back the bad mix. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I like about this game. It, it feels a lot more like they were trying to meld classics on gameplay. Like certain elements from those versions with this version, um, like with the modern Sonic game. That's why I like this yeah. this game a lot. It's like they have the bad nicks and all that stuff. They brought you know, back the bounce bracelet. The bounce bracelet. You know, spin Sonic has dash a spin dash now. I know. It's like you know, even though it's not the boost or whatever, like it's still pretty dang good. Actually, in some ways, I like the spin dash more. That's a funny thing. Yeah. Because uh, if you like. Like, you know, if you, like, spin dash or whatever, like, it feels a lot more rewarding actually doing speed runs with the spin dash. Freaking pineapple, man. This thing's so annoying. Okay, there we go. Controls, like, balls. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so now we're gonna shoot ourselves. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go the way right here where it seems like we got a ton of money. So. I, I still don't understand how you couldn't control all the wisps with the control stick. I know. There was only two of them that you only could, and that was laser and drill. Uh huh. I yeah. don't get it. They just made the controls way too gimmicky. Just yeah. Way too gimmicky. It was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? See there, I couldn't double jump or anything like that, so I fell right into the enemy and lost all my. Yeah, health. I hate that, especially whenever you're trying to do the kick attack and like you, you're locked on, but you you fall and all of a sudden you get hit or something like that. I hate that. Mm -hmm. it's so annoying. 
That's why some. That's why I say you know like this game. It's fun. You know there are areas that are fun, but there's some things about the controls you definitely have to get used to, or else uh, you're gonna find yourself very very frustrated. Cause I got to play this game at you know packs and stuff like that, and uh, it wasn't as bad because I had already kind of somewhat gotten accustomed to the controls. But you know, there's some people who are like super upset at the game to where they're just like, oh my god, these controls are so frustrating, they're the worst and whatnot. It's like, dang, you know? Yeah. I don't know, it's just, I think it's ever, until you actually get used to the controls, you know, you're not going to really enjoy the game because there is somewhat of a learning curve to it. It's not as bad as the Sonic Riders learning curve. True. God. Very true. <laughs> I, I remember that back then. Curve. Dude, I couldn't I couldn't grind on rails for like years. That's how bad it was for me. Yeah, for the record guys, I was the one who taught him how to. Yep, he was, <laughs> he, he told me. Like uh, that's the funny thing. Like uh, I learned at one point and then I forgot for a long time and I'm just like, "How the heck do you do this?" I remember back then, you know, like I always had trouble with this and then he tells me, "All you got to do is just press the A button twice." like well dang that's super easy <laughs> yeah. but the game they, they never explained to you in the instruction manual or anything kind of yeah they never explained anything oh jeez I wow <laughs> at a dirt moment right there for yeah a that second. trips me up that tripped me up every time too I'm not even gonna lie dude I can't believe that just happened it's funny though because sometimes you know like when I was playing this I was like let me see if I can go into the water it seems so weird how you know Sonic Team will sometimes you know let Sonic go underwater and whatnot in games, and then next thing you know, they want to go revert back to where Sonic can't go underwater. It's just like, what? The, why? Why the heck would you do that? Yeah. Like, seriously, that's so stupid, man. Even in the classic games, you could do it. So why are you doing it? Like, why are you doing this? All right, there we go. Is he gonna die? I hate this thing. It's freaking things. What the heck? It doesn't even kill him. Yeah, I think it just stuns it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna hop over it like that or whatever and avoid them completely. Yeah. These things are annoying though. I hate those things. Oh, the spike things? Uh-huh, those things are the worst. Alright, now we'll turn Super Sonic. And this time, let's not be clumsy about this right here. Oh my god, those Super Sonic go so fast though. It's kind of hard not to. Does oh! he control better in this game or does he, yeah, or does he control better in colors? Um, okay. Like I said, you know, his movement is kind of erratic at some point, so it all depends. Uh, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it can kind of be like, Whoa, Sonic, you need to chill out. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's not bad, but uh, it's not like, you know, super amazing. But that's the thing, Super Sonic has always been, you know, like insane speed that you have to learn out of control. So, you know, like the whole premise true. of Sonic, you know, speed is a reward and you know, you gotta earn it. So if you wanna go fast, you need to learn how to control that speed, unleash it. Yep. Whoa! Oh my god, G No! I, I, oh, I hate that. Oh wow. I lost all the momentum for my jump right there, cause uh, I was kind of on the back end of that ball or whatever it is, so... After losing it all, okay, I need to get these rings right here. Get my. Oh yeah, by the way, for the people that don't know, I recently discovered that there's a hard mode in Sonic Lost World for the 3DS. Oh. It's literally the same levels with just added stuff in them, and with the same color palette. Jeez, man, I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about the hard mode for it, because the regular mode is already so frustrating already alone as it is. They throw lives at you. I will give. I will give them that. I do like how in that version, I think when you get 100 rings, you actually do. Yeah, uh, you get extra life. Yeah, you do get an extra life. Like, see, that's the thing. It's like Dimps. Dimps gets the little things right, but then with some of the bigger things, it's like they get wrong. Yeah. Because there's some things about the 3DS version of Sonic Generations that I honestly like more than the Wii U version. Or, I'm sorry, not the Wii U version. <laughs> I like more than the uh, HD version of the game. Like Classic Sonic's, uh, Classic Sonic's abilities, dude. Um, and not his abilities, his physics. They're so much better. Oh, for our generations. Yeah. Yeah. On the 3DS, they actually control exactly like Classic Sonic. The thing is that they went so Classic Sonic that with the level design. It's exactly, it it's exactly point. like, yeah, like Mushroom Hill Zone. You play through that stage, 
and it's the exact same stage. It even has a checkpoint in the same area, which is the most redundant checkpoint ever in the history of mankind. Yeah. Because the funny thing is that that checkpoint, it's supposed to be where, uh, you know, it's supposed to be where um, you're about to face off against the boss. But the thing is, is that you don't face off against the boss because, you know, you can't do the bosses uh, like the bosses are their own stage. So there's just this pointless checkpoint there, and then two seconds later, you're blazing past the finish line. It's pretty funny. Let's see here. Where am I supposed to go here? I think I'm supposed to go here. I think I'm actually doing less hits on this dude because of uh, how I'm not doing a charge home attack. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Get out of here, Master Shifu. Go back to Kung Fu Panda where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. We defeated the not so deadly six, and we are done with Tropical Resort. So uh, yeah, I guess that wraps it up for this episode. Ooh, we got ourselves a shield. Okay, not bad actually. I, I really thought that was the aqua shield, but for one thing, I was like, oh wait, there are no elemental shields in this. Actually, there is. There's an electric shield. Is there? Yep. And uh, I believe there's a fire it. shield. Uh, I think you can only get them through Miiverse or whatever anyway, so that's uh, the reason why. Someone has to, like, give them to you. But, uh, yeah, I guess that wraps it up for this episode right here. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this part of the Supersonic playthrough. And, uh, yeah, next time we're going to be going on to Frozen Factory. But want to thank Ultranic24 once again for joining me in this episode. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, anytime. And uh, is there anything you'd like to say before uh, we end off this video right here? Um, if you guys want to... Uh... If you guys want more, some more Sonic Lost World stuff, I'm actually doing a playthrough right now. Uh, I think to not tomorrow, um, Tuesday. I'm actually gonna upload a Frozen Factory. So if you guys want to see that, just go subscribe to my channel. All right then. So make sure to go check out Ultranic 24's channel. He's doing Sonic Lost World right now, and uh, you can kind of see a different perspective of the game if you still want to keep on watching more Sonic. And uh, you know, make sure to go subscribe to his channel and uh, give him some love, give him some support. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he's like yeah. <laughs> Show the black man some love. But uh, I guess we're done here. So thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cobon Rights.